Do you want to run a flux node to start earning more passive income? But maybe you don't have the 1,000, 12,500, or 40,000 flux required to run a traditional Cumulus, Nimbus, or Stratus flux node. Or maybe you don't have the technical know-how or patience to troubleshoot hosting your own flux node. Well, you're in luck because the flux team has announced a new node tier called Titan, which requires a minimum of 50 flux to be staked to run your own Titan flux node. At today's price of 72 cents per flux, that amounts to a minimum of $36 required to start staking flux in a Titan node. In this video, I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step on how to stake flux into a Titan node. Make sure to stay to the end of the video and I'll share a little known secret on how you may be able to earn even more flux in the very near future. I previously did a video covering flux and covering how much I currently make with my flux nodes. If you haven't watched it, I encourage you to check it out. I'll link it in the description below. Flux is one of my favorite crypto node projects. In a nutshell, running a Flux node provides computational resources to support Web3 applications. For instance, I use my Flux nodes to host several of my pre-search nodes. There's a growing list of other projects that are starting to utilize Flux to support their projects. I believe that list will continue to grow, and that in turn will cause the price of Flux token to appreciate substantially in the future. But obviously that is just my opinion, and this is not financial advice. With that, let's get on to the Titan node tutorial. Step one, you'll need to download the Zellcore wallet. This wallet is free and it is available on the Google and Apple app stores. I've been using the Zellcore wallet for about a year now and I have not had any issues and I've been very happy with it. I'll link where you can download the Zellcore wallet in the description of this video. Step two is you'll need a minimum of 50 flux to be used as collateral to stake in your Titan node. I personally have used KuCoin in the past to purchase my Flux and I've had no issues and have been very happy with that exchange. But if you'd like to use a different exchange, you can look on CoinMarketCap under Markets for Flux and it'll list all the different current exchanges that have trading volume for Flux. Now you'll need to move your Flux that you purchased from your exchange into your Zellcore wallet. Since every exchange is a little bit different, I'm not gonna walk through in detail on how to move money between exchanges onto your Zellcore wallet, but it should be fairly straightforward if you've done that before. Step three, now that we have our 50 or more Flux sitting in our Zellcore wallet, we'll navigate to this website, home.runonflux.io, to start setting up staking Flux for our Titan node. I'll link this website in the description of this video below. Step four, we'll need to log into this website using our Zell ID. So click the white fingerprint icon on the homepage. A pop-up will appear asking, do you want to allow this page to open Zellcore? Click allow. So it'll switch to Zellcore and it'll ask for your two-factor authentication pin that you've set up with Zellcore. Enter that and click sign and send. And it'll say message signed and sent. Then we'll navigate back to the home.runonflux and you should be logged into this website now. Step five, click on marketplace. And then right below that, click on marketplace again. Then we'll click on shared nodes. So on this page, you'll be able to see how many Titan nodes are currently active. We're seeing 99 here, some staking stats, as well as the different lockup periods and uh, the associated APRs with those lockup periods. Step six, click stake flux on the center of this page. A pop-up will, will appear and you'll choose how much flux you'd like to stake, anywhere between 50 and 10,000 flux. So for purposes of this tutorial, I'll be staking 2,000 flux into a Titan node. Once you've got the correct amount of flux you'd like to stake, click next. Step seven, next you'll choose your lockup period. Currently there are three different options, three months, six months, and 12 months with longer duration lockup periods guarding a higher APR. As a forewarning, once you stake your flux into a Titan node, you cannot withdraw it before the end of the lockup period. So just keep that in mind. That's different from traditional Cumulus, Stratus, and Nimbus flux nodes, where you can shut down your node at any time and withdraw your flux. So this is truly locked up and you will not have access to your flux again until the end of the lockup period. I personally am going to do the three month lockup period and there is an option to auto reinvest the stake after expiration. I'm going to unclick that because I personally want some freedom to decide whether I want to reinvest at a later date. Once I've done that, I'll click next. Step eight, you'll need to sign your stake with Zellcore. So once again, click the Zell ID fingerprint icon. It'll ask, do you want to allow this page to open in Zellcore? We'll click allow. So then Zellcore will open up and you'll enter your two factor authentication pin and click sign and send. It'll say message signed and sent. Then we'll navigate back to the website and we'll click next. Step nine is registering your stake with Titan. If this looks correct in terms of the lockup period that you chose, mine is three months, which that is three months from today, I'll click register stake. And in the 
Upper right corner will say stake is registered with Titan. Then we'll click next. Step 10, we need to send our Flux to a multi-sig wallet to be staked. This wallet is safe and cannot be accessed. So once again, click the white fingerprint ID to pay with Zellcor. It'll ask, do you want to open this page in Zellcor? We'll click allow. And then you'll get a pop-up in Zellcor saying payment request received for 2000 Flux. We'll say proceed to pay. You'll enter your two-factor authentication pin again and click verify. Then all the payment fields should be auto-populated. Check that the amount of flux looks accurate and you can click send. And it'll ask to proceed with transaction. We'll say yes, send. And then you'll get a pop-up that says transaction sent. So next, navigate back to the FluxOS dashboard and click Finish. Then a pop-up will ask Finish Staking. Please ensure that you've sent payment for your stake or saved your payment details for later. Close the Titan Stake dialog. We'll click Yes. So step 11, once you've finished that staking process, you should see the amount of flux that you had staked under active stakes. It'll start off with an hourglass, and then we've got to wait for 30 confirmations here until uh, our Titan staking is actually confirmed. I believe that should take about 60 minutes to complete. Uh, so I'll be back once uh, these 30 confirmations are complete. So it has been 63 minutes. I received my 30 confirmations and that confirmation countdown now turned into a check mark, which signifies that uh, my 2000 Flux staked has successfully been staked into a Titan node. So if you've been following along, congratulations on setting up your first Titan node. One other thing I want to note is the redemption of rewards. Uh, you can actually redeem your rewards as you earn them throughout the staking period. You don't have to wait till the end of the staking period to redeem your rewards. Anytime you redeem them, uh, those rewards will automatically get deposited into your Zellcor wallet. Alternatively, if you want to wait till you have 50 or more rewards, you can actually redeem them into additional uh, Titan nodes if you choose. I mentioned in the beginning of this video how there was a way that you could earn potentially even more Flux. And that way is through Flux Parallel Asset Snapshots. Flux has recently announced a dual snapshot effective October 31st of 2022, which means if you hold Flux in your Zellcor wallet or staked in a Titan or traditional Flux node as of October 31st, 2022, you'll be eligible to earn these parallel asset snapshots when they're paid out probably in the next several months. The Flux team has not yet announced what blockchains these parallel assets will be distributed on, but Cryptovium from Twitter thinks it'll most likely be Polkadot and Atom. I'll link this tweet in the description of this video below if you'd like to learn more about these parallel asset snapshots. He does a really good job explaining uh, the overall mechanics and process of these snapshots. So if you're on the fence on buying some Flux and starting a tight node, this may just be one more reason why you'd want to do it sooner rather than later. If you found this tutorial helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd hit that like button and you should check out one of my other videos I made over here.